<laughs> this is a new Gotway M Super Pro electric unicycle. Happy New Year, guys, and welcome back. Coming alive! Whoa! I know what this is gonna be You came to fail the test You met the best Expected chess But got Monopoly I came and bought you out I knocked you out I cropped you out With no apologies I am the hope The heart The fate The spark The one who will Fulfill the prophecy Hey guys Welcome back to the channel uh, Before we dive in Question of the day What is more important to you? Speed or range? Let me know your answer And where you live In the comments below Okay We've got a lot to get into But first just a reminder, if you want to purchase the new Full Send t-shirts to help support this channel, the link will be here, and I'll also have a link in the description. Also, a reminder to subscribe and hit that notification bell, because subscriptions don't mean much anymore, but the best thing you can do is share this video around the internet so I can continue to make content for you. Okay, let's do this. All right, so I've done a couple of speed runs here in East River Park, but uh, I can't really get it up to speed. Well, let's just say that I'm not brave enough to get it up to top, top speed to see what this thing really touches. Uh, so I called on a friend over here to uh, help me out. Yo, what's up? What's up, man? So you're gonna be my uh, my balls today? You're gonna be brave and try to get this thing just to see where it tops out? I'll see what I can do for you, for sure. Let me give it a go. So I personally have only hit like 34-ish around there. I know some other guys have done higher, but we just wanna see, you know, where does it beat batch you? Where's it really going? Okay, slow it down, buddy. Okay. Let's just see if this thing really does have a speed cap. All right, let's check it out. All right, let's, let's try it. I definitely heard it chirp once or twice at 30, entering uh, 32 ish. Gotcha. Um, yeah, so I feel like, well, let's check it out. Let's see. Do you have your phone on you? So you did a steady climb. Yeah, because it was beeping the whole way. Yeah. So I knew I was making it beep, and I just wanted to continue to push it. Once I saw 36.4 it, it looks like. Yeah, once I saw it hit that, I was like, you know what? Let's not make it beep anymore. Let's so 36 and a half. Yeah. So I think I think that means that probably you could go balls to the wall like 32. Yeah, if you're gonna go off the line and just just lean and go as fast as you could, you probably start making it really, really beep at 32 ish. Uh, if you want to just steadily cruise and lose track of what you were doing, like the speed. You can get to like 36-ish. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it. So like the danger if you hit that 36, if you're like cruising at that 36 is, if you hit like a little bump and you free spin and it bumps up to 38, 39, that could be the end. That's, that's cut out there. So top speed 36 and a half is what we hit. 36. But I, I think if you really want to be at your top end and not cutting out, I think it's like really realistically like 32-ish. But anyways, thanks man. Uh, it would be a lot harder if I had to do it myself. 
and try to record. Yeah, yeah, So it's sure. easier to record someone else yeah. doing it. I'm but a guinea pig. Look, now the whole world knows, right? Like we can show them like, listen, here's the safety margin. Yeah, here's what you have. Screaming at 36. Yeah. Obviously, we actually rode this thing and a lot. Although I did do a lift test just to get a sense of where this thing was before I went out into the streets and, you know, crashed it a little bit or something. That, that didn't happen, don't worry. In my three tests, I was getting about 48 miles per hour top speed on average. So generally, I like to drop that lift test number down about 12 miles per hour. So that's about what the average rider weight could achieve on this wheel or really any other wheel. Um, but in real life, as you saw, we were able to hit 36.4 miles per hour with full beeps. I mean, it was screaming. So I'd guess cutout is somewhere around 37 miles per hour, maybe 38 if you're super light. So safely, I wouldn't ride this wheel above 32, 33 miles per hour, which is about where you'll get the first beeps anyways. Also, the M Super Pro is using the new 21700 batteries, which gets you a smidge more power in about the same space but it also seems to have much less sag than the 18650 batteries. I was getting about 30 miles per charge riding aggressively in the way of range, and about 50 miles riding more chill, which, look, isn't half bad. But uh, let's roll the paper specs. <laughs> So the bigger motor is the biggest question mark for me with this wheel. Will it give you more low end torque? Well, let's go to the streets and see how it really fares in New York City. All right, so I'm here at the famous Watchtower Hill here in Brooklyn. I'm gonna do a little bit of a hill climb test with this guy. Uh, as you know, this wheel has the 2500 watt motor, so it's promised to potentially have some better low end torque. So I'm here with a special guest, someone you've seen before, Chris. Hey, hello, Chris. What's going on, guys? So in the past, this, the MSX, so you're on the 84 volt. In the past, the MSX has not done great on hills. Is that, is that correct? Yeah, I mean, it, it's not so bad. It depends on your weight. It's a lot slower than if you came from a 16-inch wheel, if you came from a 14-inch wheel, which a lot of the people who started off did. Um, this is the first batch of M Super Xs that came out when they upgraded the shell. So it's 84 volts, 1600 watt hour. And uh, we're gonna see how it does versus the M Super Pro. Hope it improved a little bit and uh, climb this hill. So when you we get to the top of hills, that's where it would kind of like peter out a bit, right? Yeah, 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 especially if it's a really steep hill. So like if you do some like off-roading in a park or something like that, you would tend to find like at the top, it'll it'll start chugging a bit, you know? And so we'll see what they did with the new motor, 1,500 watt hours, or what is it? 2,500 watts in the motor, right? Correct, yeah, yeah. And so this has the new batteries, the 21700s. Ah, okay. You so have 18650s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, you have the bigger cells as well. Yeah, so a lot of debate online about that, but potentially there's, more power in less, a little bit less space, basically. Better packaging. All right, so we're gonna do a few tests here. I'm gonna try to maybe time some of these, but first we're just gonna do a test. I think we just, I'm gonna follow behind Chris and just see. Just give me your audible of what you're feeling on it as we go up the hill. Right. Here we go. Check it out. He's already taken off away from me. <laughs> well, that was tremendously faster. Like, I shouldn't tell if faster. I was just tre trepidatious on your wheel or if you were just actually that fast. It's tremendously faster. Yeah. Um, let's do it again. <laughs> So basically, I'm gonna start at the bottom there and I'm gonna raise my hand when he should start the timer. And then I'm gonna fly up this hill and when he comes right, when I, when I get right next to him, he's gonna uh, tilt down and see what the uh, time says. So the first test is gonna be the uh, 84 volt MSX.
All right, so now let me do the MS Pro. That's a lot. Is it? That's a lot. Is it? In the racing world, two seconds around the entire track is like a lifetime. That's huge. All right, so we did the test. We did the test, hill climb. What were your thoughts on the results? Well, I definitely think that the M Super Pro has more hill climbing ability than the 84 volt M Super X. It's without a doubt. Uh, we didn't do anything scientific. We didn't have like any timers or any gates. It's all about feel anyway. It's all about feel. Yeah, I mean, the, the feeling is noticeable. I mean, right. I haven't ridden in a while, and I've logged thousands of miles on Insurex, and I noticed it immediately. A lot, sure. a lot smoother, uh, a little little faster from standstill, but I don't know. Yeah, I mean, in this, in this sport, like, numbers are numbers, but, like, what it feels like is really key. Yeah. And I think that I did feel a difference in the 2,500-watt motor. Um, yeah, so we had two second difference. About a two second difference, second and a half. It was pretty consistent. I think we did what, 16, 16, five going up. It's the first run on the M Super Pro. You got like another 17, three. And then uh, consistently with the 84 volt, you end up putting like 18, 18, yeah. three, 18, five. So, you know, second or two, it's a small course. And that's a, that's, that's a lot. All right, well, that concludes the uh little hill test. I think it was successful just to see what this guy's all about. Yeah. Marginal difference. Uh, Marginal, but it's but there. It's there. It's there. Awesome. Well, thanks, man. No problem, dude. Let's uh, keep riding. Let's keep riding. Let's do it. Let me show you what it's all about. Check it out. So let's talk amenities. What do we got on this thing that the other MSX didn't have? Uh, first, we got this headlight. It's a double headlight. And I have to say, full disclosure, it is the brightest headlight in the game. It is almost too bright, if that's a thing. But I think here in New York City at nighttime, that's not a thing. It can't be too bright. Um, you can kind of see here. I know it's daylight, but, uh, well, trust me when I tell you, it is more than double the brightness of the other headlights, especially the MSX. It's better than my Nikola headlight. So this is worth, thank you Gotway, this is really great. Okay, the lift sensor. It's this tiny little button right here. You just press it in and wait for the beep and then you lift. I have found that it works pretty well. I don't know what that is going on there. That happens from time to time. just like slowly still turning but my gripe with it is it really hurts you you get this little like harsh ring on your finger I wish they could have implemented some kind of sensor under the handle like normal but they went with this for I guess the reason of keeping the shell design uh, it works but it, it's annoying if I was a full-time MSX rider I'd probably just keep to continue to turn it off and carry it just much easier to just hit the button off, carry it, get up the stairs or whatever you're doing, turn it back on. The lift center, yeah. So we got two speakers right here. One, two, and as you can kind of see, they're exposed. So uh, they're really loud. They're as loud as the Nikola speakers. I think, I think they are the same speakers that are in the Gotway Nikola. Uh, but they're, they sound a little bit louder because there's nothing blocking them. They're not behind the shell. I think the con to that is um, if you crash and you hit this just right, you're going to blow your speakers. You're going to rip them up immediately. <laughs> so maybe uh, it would have been better to just keep it under the shell and not have it cut out. Uh, or, I don't know, maybe you can make a little cage for yourself to put it over it just to preserve them. Who knows? But, so those are the speakers. They, they sound great. They got a little bit of bass to them, just like the Nikola speakers. Uh, they're loud enough. Uh, so it's, it's a nice amenity to have, because I know that in the past... Ah, and last, the tire. Uh, this is the CST tire. It's the same tire. It's on the Gotway Nikola. 
It's a good street tire. Um, it's a bit better, I think, in the rain than the MSX tire had previously, which I think was a Chaoyang tire. Um, this is like street, but like a little safer. I feel like the other Chaoyang tire is going to be a little more street oriented, meaning it's going to be a little faster of a tire because uh, there's less grip going on here. So, you know, I, I think you could probably swap on the other one if you didn't like this, but it's a good choice. I mean, I, I've been riding this tire on my Nikola and it's really nice. So this new MS Pro basically solves all the pain points that the MSX had in the past. Um, the headlight wasn't great in the past, there were no speakers, there was no lift sensor. Uh, this wheel has a lift sensor, it's got speakers, um, and the headlight is way better. But it kind of feels a little too late, you know? Like, I use a thousand lumen flashlight and it works fine for me. And especially in New York City traffic, I can do a lot of different versatile things with it. It's not just pointed down. And then I have a Bluetooth speaker over here, so that's sort of been solved too. Um, but I guess if you're like in California riding in sandals and board shorts and no shirt on the beach It'll be good to have these amenities, but either way it just feels like a little too late, you know? So this brings me to the most troubling thing about this wheel uh, it fixed so many annoyances from the previous generations, but it's created a new grievance. It's slower than the MSX 100 volt. So let's look at the new M Super lineup from slowest to fastest. As you can see, the MSX 84 volt is hitting about 35 miles per hour top speed. The M Super Pro is hitting about 37 if we're being generous. Uh, and the MSX 100 volt is hitting about 42 miles per hour. It's no secret that Americans have been overusing the term pro quite a lot over the past decade. But now Gotway, like the Chinese are in on it? Can you really call your upgrade to the M Super line pro if it's slower than the last generation? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Alright, so I feel like if you're going to use the word pro, if this is your pro machine, it's got to hit all the specs across the board. You know, fastest speed, amazing range, all the amenities, the works. Um, but it's just falling short. And I, and I think it's really due to the motor. Um, you know, this is the 2500 watt motor, and it seems to me that they messed with the KV, so the uh, rotations per volt is lower which is going to give you more of that low end power to sort of you know climb a hill or whatever uh, but I don't know it's sacrificing top speed this, that just doesn't make any sense to me from a standpoint of like let's sell you the pro model uh, you know still the MSX 100 volt is king unless hear me out instead of it being a hundred volt they come out with a hundred and twenty six volt machine then I think possibly this thing could hit a top speed of say, well if the MSX 100 volt is doing 42, 43 depending on the rider, 48, 50 maybe. So this is kind of a crazy theory, but maybe they're trying to roll out a new 126 volt lineup of everything and this becomes the new 84 volt wheel, but it's the 100 volt version. So maybe this is the way forward. Maybe I've called their bluff. I don't think you should write this wheel off if you're an average rider. It is much better than the previous generation in every way except for speed. Uh, to me, this wheel just replaces the MSX 84 volt. And so again, it's just a slower wheel. Sure, the motor is smoother and it can take a hill, but was that really an issue before? Like enough to cap the top speed? I'd just rather be faster. But if the speed thing doesn't matter to you, then we can't be friends. No, really, no, I'm, I'm kidding. 
Of course we can be friends, but that's okay. I mean, if it doesn't matter to you, that's totally fine. Uh, this wheel is a much needed improvement, but it's only marginally so. But hey, Gotway can still change these downfalls before it ships. Maybe I'm just being picky. Maybe I hope that the pro version of any wheel is a serious upgrade, not just a marginal one. And at the price point of $1,998, it's more affordable than the MSX 100 volt, but a tad more expensive than the MSX 84 volt. Considering this has more battery than the 84 volt, the price seems to be a good deal. But don't get me wrong, this isn't an upgrade to the MSX 100 volt at all. I think they may want to call this the MSM for the M Super middle of the road or something like that. But this is just my New York City extreme rider perspective. So let me know if this wheel is next in your quiver or if you think I'm just crazy for wanting a wheel that can hit 50 miles per hour. So that's all I have for you today. Thanks again for watching. And if you like what you saw here, go ahead and smash that like button if that's something you're into. Uh, t tell me your thoughts below. Subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. And as always, the best thing you can do is share this video around the internet. So thanks again. Uh, we'll see you on the next one and keep riding. Peace.